Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, like last time I said, we are going to be doing some of the side quests um, in Gerudo Town. And uh, one of the ones I wanted to do, which is a shrine quest first, um, is we want to talk to this person here to start it. Um, they're basically very far away from Gerudo Town. Um, and they've passed out from the heat. So, And they're, of course, blocking the terminal to enter the shrine. I just found the shrine, too. Ugh, my throat, it's so dry. I can't move a muscle. If this really is the end, I wish I could just, I could have one last taste, one sip. One sip of an ice-cold noble pursuit. Right, the perfect drink. So, um, we'll be doing this later, but I uh, just wanted to start it now. So, now we'll head over to Gerudo Town. Alright, so, to start this whole sequence of the sh uh, side quests in Gerudo Town, we actually want to speak to Riju. Alright, actually, it's not. We need to examine this. Halt! That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Mm. Be calm yourself, Boliara. You desire this helm? I want it. I see. And yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Mm. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes, lend it to me. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. The Thunder Helm. Alright, you got it. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. Okay. Well yeah, so that is the reward, but I actually just like to do the side quests because I think they're interesting. So, um, first I want to actually talk to this lady over here, because if you help her, she actually opens up a new shop, which is really cool. Um, do you write? I have to do something. Savota. I haven't really got the time to be greeting people, honestly. Now that the Divine Beast has finally calmed down, there should be a rush of customers any second. So why did something like this have to happen to me now, of all times? What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories. But I've run out of flint. I needed to make my items. If only I had ten. Just ten. If some kind Vaya could give me ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in this world. Accessories? I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that can transfer to whoever wears it. There's nothing I can do about not having any flint, though. I'm sorry that you came all the way to see me for nothing. No, no, I got flint. I'm sorry, I haven't been able to get a w any flint yet, so I'd, I'm not in a position to make any accessories right now. Hmm, I wonder if I'd be able to work if a kind, generous Faya were to give me ten pieces of flint, though. Here's some flint. What? You're just giving these to me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sars close. But I can't take this all from you with just a Sars co or Sark so <laughs> We hardly know each other, and you've been so nice. The shop's been closed so long, I hardly have any inventory. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, I can make a jeweled accessory for you if you're interested in something. Topaz. Topaz has the power to grant electric resistance. So you think you'd like topaz earrings? Yes, please. <laughs> Tehee, I thought you might pick that one. Please give me a moment. Brand new, especially for you. I think it turned out really well. Topaz earrings. Earrings made by Gerudo craft workers. They're made with topaz, a gem that harnesses the power of lightning to increase electricity resistance. Thanks to you, I got the shop running again. So if you ever need an accessory, please come by for a special discount. Just don't tell my other customers, okay? Alright, let's go take a look. Tools of the trade complete. Alright, so we actually already have this. There we go. Okay, she's in. Now we can shop. So yeah, we already have a diamond circlet. We found one. So we also have a ruby circlet, a sapphire circlet, topaz earrings, which she just made for us, opal earrings, which help with swimming, and amber earrings, which are for defense. And these are actually the ones I want. This can be yours for 100 rupees. That's pretty cheap. Amber earrings. One of the items sold by the Gerudo jeweler. These earrings are made with an amber, or with amber, a gem that harnesses the power of the land to increase defense when equipped. That accessory really is your style. Alright, thank you. I could buy the rest of these, but it uh, costs a lot of materials, like gems and stuff, so I'll hold off. Alright, well that's just one of the quests we need to do, so let's look around for another. Okay, here, here's another one. This little 
Gerudo girl here. Ugh, why? Oh, Vaya from out of town. Zavota. Sniff. I wanted to plant an orchard here. I picked up trash, I pulled the weeds, I tilled the ground. I, do I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the earth happy. But... But... The trash... All this trash keeps getting washed down into the water trough, and now I can't use the water there anymore. And if I can't use the water anymore, my orchard, orchard is doomed. The mystery polluter. Alright, so where is the water? Okay, here it is. So basically all we have to do, yeah, as you can see, my goodness, look at all these watermelon rinds in the water. Yeah, that's probably not good. I mean, it is compost, I guess. But basically... Yeah, there's these little rinds floating down the river, so all we gotta do is follow them. Alright, well, I think I found the person we're looking for. My, you're going ham on that thing. Uh -huh. What's with you? How can I enjoy my snack with you staring at me, huh? Buzz off. Actually. What? Garbage? A small Vaya is having trouble? Oh, sure. You spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle? Well, no. I do what I want. Uh -huh. Aw, don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Altruism is for suckers. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry and I can hold off on eating so many uh, melons. Got it. Oh. Wild berries grow in the snowy areas of the Gerudo Highlands. Mm. It's a dangerous region, so the fruit is kind of rare and hardly ever shows up at the market. Ah. Now that I think of it, there's barely a point if you only bring me one. Mm. Let's see. Yes, I'll need at least ten. Hmm. Alright, well, I've got ten. I haven't been thinking about trash at all. Who can think while in a melon trance? I just can't believe the rinds I'm tossing are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? Well, anyway, I feel bad about the little fire, but I'm going to need at least ten wild berries if you want me to stop. Berry delivery. Huh? Really? That's right. Sweetness! So that's a wild berry. It's delicious, and no rind to toss. What a magical fruit. If I have these, I might just give up on other fruit entirely. But now I feel bad for the little Vaya. Now that my cravings have been satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. Shame on me. I'm going to go help clean up the trash. I've really caused a lot of trouble, but now I'm going to make it right. I guess let's go back to the little girl. Oh, she looks happy. I did it. Hey, lis uh, you, listen to this. Some other Vaya I've never met before helped me clean up the trash. And now the water trough is completely back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you? Thank you. Oh, I also got a hydromelon from the lady who cleaned it up. I'll share. It's a thank you for share for caring about me. Alright, a hydromelon. Oh yeah, the lady who helped clean up gave me some wild berries. So now my field is going to be a wild berry patch. You can come eat the berries anytime you like. It'll be great. Alright, yeah, look. There's no more watermelon rinds in. Alright, so that's another quest done. Uh, let's look for other ones. You heard the rumor? Oh, I was going to tell you, I finally got my hands on the password for you know where. Seriously? Wow. That place is a really is a little crazy, isn't it? Maybe, but I'm really interested. Anyway, the password is... Wait a second. You. Did you really think we wouldn't see you standing there listening to our conversation? So rude. This is a private conversation. Go away. Good old eavesdropping. <laughs> All you gotta do is go behind here and listen through this window. What was up with that little Vaya, or Hylian Vaya earlier anyway? Forget her, just hurry up and tell us the password. <laughs> oh, that's right, the password. It's GSC Diamond. I overheard uh, Sala talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. <laughs> GSC Diamond? What could that... Oh, I get it. Gerudo Secret Club. GSC. But what's the diamond at the end mean? Mm. Who knows? Okay. Well... This isn't actually a side quest, but it's a interesting little uh, shop. So let's go find the secret door. Ah, here we go. So this uh, closed door, examine. What's the password? G. What comes next? S. And after that, C. And what comes last? Diamond. All right, you can come in. Hello. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions and I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. Alright, well this is how you can also buy the uh, Desert Vo set, but I bought it from uh, Hudson's wife, so we don't need that. But this is the only way to buy this set here. 
Oh ho, that's a special one, made using luminous stone. If you're interested, you'll need to trade me the materials. Oh, and there's a handling fee too. Alright. Well, yeah, here it is. Uh, 800, 800, 800, okay. And three luminous stones each. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. Alright, that's the full set. So, um... This shirt is sold at the Gerudo Secret Club. It glows with a strange pattern in the dark, due to a dye made from crushed luminous stones. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. It basically glows in the dark. And you can upgrade it as well for armor and whatnot. So let's talk to you. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, or GSC for short. This is the only shop in Gerudo Town where someone could buy clothes meant for a Vaux to wear. Despite it being illegal to sell Vaux clothing in this town, there is a high demand for such things. <laughs> I've never seen a Vaux disguise himself as a Vaya like you have, though. Really? <laughs> we each have something to hide, I suppose. Let's ignore that and move on to business. I should be going. <laughs> Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Right, so yeah, she, uh, she totally knows. But, well, she's not talking, so I guess that's fine. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a sh side quest over here with the guards. Yeah, what happened to Barda? Again? Wha- wha- what? Barda didn't come back again? Oh. I'm afraid this time she went to the- to investigate the Leviathan Bones in the southwest. Oh. I- I tried to stop her. Hmm. Oh, but obviously it didn't work because she's not here. Mm. Well, yeah. But everyone knows the area is the domain of the Mulduga. So who would believe, figure she'd even go close to there? Ooh. Yes, nobody would dare. Not only that, but it's an extremely hot zone, so we wouldn't last long there in Argyr. You... You idiots! That scatterbrain wouldn't even realize she was walking into danger. I mean, you know that, right? Uh? Why, it was just the other day she ran off and got captured by the Yiga. <sighs> Ugh, I guess Barda will be Barda, and you all aren't going to change. But still, why does she have to go and get in trouble like this all the time? Search for Barda. Alright, well, fortunately, they mentioned the Le Leviathan Bones, which is just over here by the Great Fairy Fountain, so let's go over there. Alright, so just behind the shrine here um, is Barda. She's just uh, sitting there. Uh... Are you a fairy? An angel? Are you here to guide my passage? Mm. Everything's gone hazy. This might be the end. Snap out of it. Uh, if only I had been... I could have eaten a hearty durian one last time. A hearty durian, a hearty durian. Well, I've got one. Ah, uh, spirits of the goddess, before you take me from this world, if I could just taste fruit. Just one last bite of a hearty durian. Take this. Ah, uh, I've come back from the brink, thanks to you. I guess it really was reckless of me to come here without the proper gear. But you don't seem to have the proper gear either. It's kind of amazing that you even made it here, to be honest. Uh, anyway, I'm absolutely beat. Maybe I'll just rest a little longer and then head home. Your boss was mad. Huh? So they knew I snuck off? Yeah. Oh, I'm in such trouble. Yep, looks like I'd better go on ahead. See you later in Savork. So, uh, I guess, yeah, let's just head back to Gerudo Town. Alright, well, there's Barda. She's the third in the row, I think. Oh no, she's the middle row. You lousy lot. <laughs> oh, what a courageous fire. I heard from Barda. She said you found her. I told you you were a dependable as a champion. If you were a Grudo Vaya, I'd want you in my troop. Anyway, close one, huh? Looks like I got out of this without getting chewed out by our troop leader. You must be worn out, right? Here, take this as things. Buy yourself something nice in the market. A oh, hundred rupees, thank you. I, I finally found the Vaux of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found happiness. But then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the guts of Malduga, but I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but why would they want to help me? The Malduga is a menacing beast, or none who face one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town, never thought I'd have to come crawling back. Malduga? The Malduga is a monster, a terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here, in the Toruma dunes, and in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations, and it tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it or even move near it, and you can't even use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Well, I've got one. Oh, it's you. My husband was the first vote to ever tell me I was beautiful. I love him so, and so I need those Molduga guts, no matter what. But what can I do on my own? Here, take them. Wait, these... Molduga guts? You, you'll you give these to me? Yep. Oh, thank you. This is all I have to thank you with, but I insist you take it. Uh, 300 rupees, thank you. 
This will save him. All right. That's that. All right, so... I wonder, are there any other side quests that need to be done before we can go to Riju? All right, so let's start the Noble Pursuit quest for the shrine. I believe you're the bartender. Vasak, a Hylian Vaya, huh? I can't tell how old you are, but this place is definitely not for young Vaya. Because the drinks we made here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a rare treat in them. Ice. Noble Pursuit? You want to try our signature drink, Noble Pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little Vaya like you. Actually, someone else needs it. What'd you say? Pokey's collapsed? Hmm, I want to help her out, but I can't make you a you-know-what without ice. There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Are you serious? You'll get it? That'd be a huge help. Pokey's my best customer, after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Uh, Anki manages it, but I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. You should know that she need, uh, she heads to bed quite early. If you plan to go, you'll need to get there while it's bright out. Alright. Oh, young lady. Carrying ice all the way through the desert and then all the way to town? I can't let that stand. If you bring me the ice at the entrance to the ruins between town and the ice house, I can take it from there. Alright. The perfect drink. So yeah, um, on the map, the ice house is all the way over here. So yeah, we have to get through the ruins. So I'll see you when I get to the ice house. All right, northern ice house. So basically, yeah, it's like a ice area underground. So yeah, they have these blocks of ice that are pretty precious to them since it's so hot in the desert. All right, so I suppose you're the one I need to talk to. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought here or brought down from the mountains. Oh, that's what they do. Seeing as we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff for us Grudo, so I guard the ice house 24 hours a day. Actually, I need some ice. I see. Well, if Feroso, Feroso wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Feroso has no use for water. Hmm, <laughs> that's one big ice block. The perfect drink. Alright, so... Basically, the ruins are our saving grace because, yeah, it's never cloudy in the desert. And the shade is what helps the ice not melt. But in the sun, it's going to be bad. So, yeah, as you can hear, it starts to melt and it even drips. So we just gotta take it nice and slow. Oh boy. And there are enemies in the ruins too. So it's not even just the sun you have to worry about, you have to worry about not dying. And there's fire, Lizalfos which will just melt this thing immediately, so we may have to just place it here and deal with the enemies. Uh, don't mind me. Just delivering some ice. Alright, we're almost there. There she is. Hey, over here, this way. Bring the ice over here. Whoa, no doubt about it. That's definitely ice from the ice house. I'll be able to make a noble pursuit with this. It may be the best I've ever made. I've got one more favor to ask. Could you go and let Pokey know? Just tell her the best drink ever made is waiting for her. What? No, of course this will work. Knowing her, if she hears a delicious drink is waiting, she'll come running. Alright, if you say so. Alright, Pokey. I'm here. I'm done for. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot here. Actually. Huh? Did you say best noble pursuit ever? Pfft, I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> Alright, well, that really didn't take much. Well, I guess we can go in the shrine now. Oh, hey, just a blessing. I'll happily take it. Alright, well that's that shrine quest. I think it's pretty interesting having to carry ice through the desert. Alright, and now actually the next one, um, which is honestly, I don't know if it's necessary for the Thunderhelm, but it's great for armor, is we need to speak to someone out here, actually. Sa sa sava saba So yeah, hey, the name's Bozy. I'm 35, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. You out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Want to hang out with with me a while? Nice sand jogging. <laughs> yeah, you notice those old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. Give me those boots. Huh? I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heroine? Eighth heroine. Hmm. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo region about seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth heroine. Find her. Show me the eighth heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Um, according to those who idolize the 8th heroine, she's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? And, or, oh, and here. If you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. Snow boots. Snow speed up. Bonsai was kind enough to lend you these boots. They even distribute your body weight so you can maintain your normal walking speed on deep snow. Alright, the 8th heroine. Well, I actually know where it is, so let's do it. Alright, well, we've went ahead and found the statue of the 8th heroine. It's actually a location on the map. So, all we need to do is get our camera, get in a good position, and make sure the camera recognizes it. So yeah, as long as it has that 8th heroine statue bubble, then we're good. Okay, so, also, um, over here, um, so this was where the statue of the 8th heroine was, and over here is the heroine's sword statue, or statue of its sword. So yeah, we actually also need a picture of this, because if we don't, we have to come back over here. So obviously it's not going to, like, count it. It's not going to say, like, 8th heroine statue sword, because we haven't triggered that part of the cut of the um, side quest, so we need to take a picture of it now. It still counts, and then go back to him, so let's go do that now. Okay, I've made it back. Alright, I have your picture. Oh, oh, thank goodness, you made it back safely. I have to come clean. The 8th heroine is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now on, I'll be your protect. Found it. Are you trying to console me? Because I've been so heartsick over this. You're such a kind soul. But no need to, con to coddle me. From now on, I'll look at this. That, that certainly is. The way it was rumored to look. That's amazing. I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The eighth heroine actually exists? If the rest of the world knew this, I'd be absolutely bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Yeah, that way, it'll just be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yeah, if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you, sand boots, please. Oh, oh, okay. Just a second, I'll take them off. Sand boots. Gerudo artisans modified these boots for life in the desert. The special soles distribute your body weight evenly so you can maintain your normal movement speed on sand. <laughs> Treat them as tenderly as you would me. Ahem, and now, would, could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise, old Bosey is going to be barefoot. Mm. Alright, we're done here. Boy, but these will make running in the sand pretty difficult, and I'm pretty tired anyway from my jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Grudo Town and take five. Care to join me later? Goodbye. Oh. Huh. Aw. Oh. Good. Goodbye. Alright. Well, yeah, like I said, um, we're not done, though, because we also want to keep his snow boots, because he took them back. So, he should be under here. Yeah, that's where I thought he was originally. Uh. You. You came. I mean, hey, yeah, of course. Figured you'd swing by. Yep. To do the old swing by. I want snow boots. Mm -hmm. What? You want my snow boots too? Oh man, what should I do? Think, Bozia. Can't put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax and work a little verbal magic. How could I resist a, qu a request from you? So let me ask you this. Did you notice that the statue of the 8th heroine actually, or isn't actually holding a sword? Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, they all have their swords. Suspicious, you know. Which leads me to deduce that the 8th heroine must have had a sword as well. Must have. To see that such a sword actually exists, that my deduction is right. There could be no greater surprise. I'll go look for it. Alright, the forgotten sword. Well, so if we check our pictures... Yes, it does. It has the uh, exclamation point, so it does count. A traveler swore he saw you in the Gerudo Highlands, so I've been gnawing on my fingernails with worry. I mean, all that talk about the sword was just chit-chat. I didn't think you'd go up there with without snow boots. Anyway, are you okay? Feast your eyes. What? It really exists? And you went searching for it without a decent pair of snow boots? I mean, the Gerudo Highlands are unforgiving. I doubt I could survive there, and I'm burly. Who are you? Snow boots. Oh. Yeah, you did risk your life to fulfill your promise after all. I'd be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. Just a second, I'll take them off. Snow boots. Boots designed for hiking up snowy mountains. They even distribute your body weight so you can maintain your normal movements meet on deep snow. Um, would you could go out? With, with, with not a chance. Ugh, I kind of knew you'd say that. But would it have killed you to let me finish the question? Yeah. Alright, the Forgotten Sword. 
Alright, and that concludes that. So we have two new pairs of boots, which help us travel. And yes, you can upgrade them um, armor-wise to, I guess, just provide more defense. Alright, well, there's only one last thing I think that we need to do. And it's over here. Sand Seal Rally. Alright, so this is another shrine quest. And we... Well, all we gotta do is place this orb in there. Um, hey, 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 hey. That sand seal race trophy is obviously only for those who've proven themselves worthy. Cool it with a grabby grabby. Alright, well, how can I win? Finally, Tally. What do you want? The great Tally doesn't have time to chat with just anyone. You see, now that the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Tally is busy focusing her energy for the sand seal race. Actually... Did you want to try to beat Tally's record? I'll warn you, they don't call her Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Sandsail race? You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime, the world-famous sandsail racing? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tally? You surf with the sandsail and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's sandsail racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you're disqualified. Uh, Tally's record is a minute 30. If you can beat that record, the trophy's yours. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of sandsail racing champions. Tally here is the current champion. Will you try challenging a record? Of course. I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race. Okay. Alright, payday. Enough talk, let's begin. The challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sandsail race, apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? The incomparable beast of the desert, the Sandsail is ready to ride. Hey, you stretch, Link. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than a minute thirty, while still passing under each arch? The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Go. And we're off. Alright, so, yeah, this is basically just uh, somewhat of a race. All we gotta do is steer our sand seal and go under these arches. If we do not go under the arches, we fail. And yeah, like before, sand seals have basically infinite stamina. They'll just eventually stop dashing, and you just gotta tell them to dash again. So just uh, keep doing that. Thankfully, the course is kind of obvious, and you can see the uh, flags on top of the arches fairly well. So we just got to keep going under all these things. Uh, I hope I went the right way there. Oh, I passed one, didn't I? Shoot, I might have to start over. What is... Come on, dude. Nope. I told you, you can't get off your shield. That's it, the race is over. I think I went the wrong way anyway. And I got a tag, so how does that count? Okay, I see it now. So this is where I messed up last time. Yeah, the flag is literally just over here. I totally didn't notice the flag. But yeah, this seems a lot more obvious since it's basically an obstacle course. Come on, dash. Alright, there we go. So yeah, there's that. And then these silly Lizalfos are going to try to throw boulders at us. And if we crash, I guess that will probably not count. And then we gotta dash between these camps and whatnot, and they're probably gonna shoot at us, so... This is super fun, though. It's really fast. And as far as the record goes, we are screaming. We're gonna s save, like, 15 seconds here. Come on, dash, dash. Ah, 14. Alright, not bad. But we won, so... <laughs> we definitely did well. Huh? Minute 16? It's a new record! Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. This trophy is something special, you know? Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, When the holy jewel is offered unto the pedestal, the chosen woman will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone, not even to me, obviously. And yet, I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. Alright. Well, yeah, it's pretty obvious to us what we need to do. And so, a new champion is born. Alright. Well, at least she's not a sore loser. Alright, well, yeah, since the 
trophy is now ours. All we gotta do is pick it up and put it down. It's really that simple. I'm surprised nobody tried it. Alright, yeah, the undefeated champion complete. And that's literally it. Let's just go claim our prize. And of course it's a blessing because we've already done the challenge. Okay, I want to check with Riju to see if we've done everything. I don't remember what else there is. Well, maybe we have. I have heard of your recent actions. You have returned smiles to the faces of my people. On behalf of all Gerudo, I must offer you my heartfelt thanks. Thank you. You are, from this moment on, a true friend of the Gerudo. And if it can help a true friend in need, we will gladly lend you this sacred treasure. There we go! The Thunderhelm. A precious heirloom passed down among the Gerudo. It deflects lightning strikes and is traditionally worn only by the Gerudo chief. I know that you, more than any other, will be able to use this Thunderhelm to its fullest potential. I believe you can unlock the power of Urbosa that lies within. Alright. Well, there we go! That's the Thunderhelm and everything done within, um, Gerudo Town, pretty much. All the other shrine quests I've already done, like the, um, the seven heroines and then the follow the statues with the swords, so. Alright, well, thank you all very much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you really are enjoying this uh, playthrough of mine. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and do subscribe because I'm going to keep playing this game until Tears of the Kingdom. There's still a lot more to do. So, thank you all very much again for watching, and I'll see you later.